Where is Nigeria in all of this? On this scale? Let me, in other words, what is it that we are trying to measure? What is it that we are trying to change? And I want to say, if you can measure it, you can improve it. What are we trying to improve? First, I want to tell you, share a few statistics. They said one, Edelman's trust index, as of 2022, says that only 35% of Nigerians trust government. The World Bank's Government Effectiveness Index ranks Nigeria 164 out of 191. And the World Bank's Country Policy and Institutional Assessment Index, CPIA 2022, on a scale of 1 to 6, Nigeria's rankings are very, very poor. Aggregate of 3.2. Policies for social inclusion and equity, 3.5. Gender equality, 3. Equity in public sector resource use, 3.5. Building human resources, 3.5. Social protection and labor, 4. Policies and institutions. We have public sector management and institutions. Our aggregate is abysmal 2.8. And then policies and institutions for environment sustainability, 3. Quality of budget and financial management, 3.5. Efficiency of revenue modelization, 3.5. Transparency, accountability, and corruption in public sector, just three. In other words, my dear friends, the CPIA puts Nigeria at 3.2, and we have been declining since 2013. And Rwanda is ranked. 4, 4.0, we are 3.2. And the question I want to ask, and I will be discussing, this might be part of my messages for this conference, whether there is a correlation between public trust and government plus this CPIA and government effectiveness rating and ranking on the one hand, and the ranking on the fragile states index, I don't know how many of you are familiar with the Fragile States Index, where Nigeria is, has been oscillating between 14th and 15th position in the world for the last decade and categorized under the red alert categories of countries. Is there a link between where you rate on these other micro, macro parameters of accountability and so on versus the overarching architecture? of governance, institutions, and so on, that prevail. Can the micro outperform the meta meso level architecture? That's a major question that I will leave for you. And we'll say for effectiveness, that is, to what extent can the micro, macro level issues of accountability and transparency and public trust outperform the underlying meta meso structures of the country? And I ask that the global standards matter. That's as we pack that question on the one side. Of course, globally, as we've heard from the I-5 president, I mean, there are all manner of uh, uh, efforts. And I'm very glad that the accountants are focusing on inclusive uh, development, a uh, much broader issue than the, you know, not samples of uh, having the balance sheets and so on um, uh, matters. There are, there's no shortage of global best practices, conventions, and, and, and initiatives that promote accountability, transparency, and, you know, and, and therefore trust in governance. Open government partnerships, global initiative for fiscal transparency, global financial action task force, you know much about them. Access to information laws like freedom of information laws, wasteful global protection initiatives, global partnership for sustainable development, transparency international, attractive industries transparency initiative, UN convention against corruption, global best practices for ease of doing business, and various ratings and rankings. Dozens of global ratings and uh, rant, uh, ratings uh, and rankings pertaining to good governance, accountability, transparency, and inclusiveness. There are just a plethora of them. 
and dozens and so on.